Hey Fruit Bats, it's really Banana Girl here. Welcome to woo, another episode. Gotta put the spin in. Today is today is just like a QA, okay? So I'm gonna do a QA because I haven't really done that format for a long time, and I know a lot of you have questions, so I'm gonna try and answer some of them today. And I've got my big skirt on. I love this big skirt. It's amazing secondhand stuff, um, store, thrift shop. I love them. It was only like five dollars. These shops are so awesome. You know, I don't care about fashion anymore. I used to be right into labels and that, and now I just don't give a shit. It's just such a waste of money. So you know, go go to secondhand stores, and you will find some real treasures that you won't find anywhere else. And they've already been worn in a little bit, so they fit better, I find. So today's first question is, by the way, I've got my data raid. This has got orange juice in it and dates and blend it on high with water. It's amazing. Very good combo, try it. And it may not be optimal food combining, but I find it digests well. So, um, okay, so I'm a pineapple. <laughs> the first question is from I'm a pineapple. By the way, I am a banana, in case you didn't know. So I'm a pineapple 15 says, Hey, Freely Banana Girl, you mentioned in your facts about me that you're sensitive to nightshades. Are you not anymore? Also wondering what kinds of makeup you use and brands. Thanks. Yeah, I did say I was um, sensitive to nightshades in that video. And I am particularly sensitive tomato to tomatoes. They have to be like perfectly ripe and almost like, you know, the right variety before I can, hand I can tolerate them. Or else I instantly get an ulcer. And it's usually because it's a bit unripe and my, yeah, I just can't handle it. Ever since I was little, I could not handle tomatoes. So that's the reason that I avoid tomatoes. Nightshades in general, I'm not sure. You know, like I, you know, with potatoes, I'm digesting them really well at first. It was a little bit of a challenge. It was, you know, something new. I've been eating raw for so, so many years. So introducing anything that was cooked was a little bit of a challenge at first. But now I've adjusted and I'm digesting them well and I feel great. So the next question is, what kinds of makeup and brands? Well, I love 100% pure. It's fruit-based makeup. It's so cool. Seriously, I've got it here. Probably can't see it too well, but it's called 100% pure. This is like bronzer based on cacao. Okay, I don't mind putting cacao on the outside, but I don't like ingesting it because it just makes me feel a bit, doesn't let me sleep. It's like caffeine, okay? It's a stimulant. So I don't mind putting it, you know, using it as a bit of a bronzer. That is wonderful. And I've got some other things like from 100% Pure. This is lipstick. It's called Elderberry. It's beautiful. I mean, these products are great. I've got this tomato lycopene face cream. I love the fact that they're based on fruit. I really love that as a lot of you know. I love wearing fruit. I love talking about fruit. I love eating fruit. So this is right in line with my philosophy. And this vegan, I love this vegan eyeliner. Like I put it on my eyebrows, you know, draw the eyebrows a little bit, put on my beauty spot sometimes and use it as an eyeliner. But anyone who's close to me knows that I am not a big makeup buff. You know, I'm not like, I'm definitely not an expert at it. And I just try to enhance my features, like not go too full on with it. So the next question, I hope that answers your question, I'm a pineapple. Next question is from Debbie Driver. Freely, since you've been eating cooked carbs, have you noticed any changes at all? Like, if you have too much salt, can you see it in your face? Do you feel more tired after eating cooked food? Just interested to see any differences, thanks. For sure, I have noticed positive and kind of neutral results and some things not as good as being 100% raw. When it comes to the salt, yeah, definitely. Like when I had the three day, you know, basically the bender going out, you know, eating out, eating all the, the salt that I wanted on these, you know, these dishes that we had, which weren't mega, mega salty, but definitely more salt than I'm used to. I did feel, you know, I did see the face expand. Absolutely, absolutely, it's expanded and I retain more fluid on my body. That's just, that's just how it's gonna go because I've been eating low sodium for years, seven years. I mean, I've been on a low sodium diet essentially. So then when I do have more salt, I'm gonna see it, you know, in my body, but it's, I'm telling you, the fitter you are, the more, the quicker your body is gonna flush the lymphatic system, flush that salt out, the more efficient your kidneys are gonna be at flushing that salt out. So that's definitely been something that's, you know, hasn't been too much of a problem because I am quite fit. You know, it's been seven years on this lifestyle, it's an accumulated results. Okay, it's all, you know, caught up after seven years, I'm getting these great benefits and my body is just 
way, way fitter. And a lot of people are like, oh, you do too much exercise. I don't want to do anywhere near as much as you do. Blah, blah, blah. You know, a lot of people believe this. I'm telling you, it is not true. I always actually laugh when I see comments and stuff like, oh yeah, but Freely just cycles all day. She does so much exercise. It's just simply not true, okay? And those close to me know that that is not true. I am freaking lazy. I am lazy. I like to do the minimum amount of exercise. Ask Harley, he's always trying to kick my butt into doing more, but I'm like, nah, I don't want to do any more. I just do enough to stay how I am and stay healthy and fit. And that's just, that's enough for me. So other things that I've noticed, sure, you know, my digestion on 100% fruit and raw fruit and greens is you know, that much better. Not a heap better, but it is a little bit better because cooked food is not as optimal as fruit. Let's be honest, it's not. But when you're looking at the big picture, okay, I look at it like, well, what can I sustain? Because when I was 100% raw, I found it easy to keep going back to avocado, keep going to higher fat, things like nuts and seeds. And my athletic performance definitely did be impacted. And my digestion was impacted from that, from the high fat foods. So you've got to weigh it up and think, well, what can I sustain long term? And for me, the raw to four lifestyle is amazing. It can be sustained anywhere in the world. So that's what I'm really going with at the moment. And my digestion is great. It really, really is. And other results, well, I think I'm feeling, I'm just, you know, if I wasn't getting fantastic results living this way, then I would not be doing it, okay? Because I have high standards for my health, my well being, and my energy. I always, you know, have strive for that. And I feel great doing this way. So, yeah, I think that's my answer to that one. Debbie, I hope that helped. Um, okay, so next one is from High Carb Queen. I think eating vegan is not that challenging. It's much harder to eat vegan and gluten-free. And that's true. It is harder to eat vegan and gluten-free, but not that hard. Okay, that's what I do most of the time. And I did have wheat in those pizzas that you saw in those videos. Yes, I did have wheat. And it's not as good as gluten-free, that's for sure. Whenever I have the option to go gluten-free, I do it. I take it straight away. Because I just find it digests better, it makes me feel better, more energy, all of that. And like during the week, I do gluten-free. You know, most of the time, 99% of the time, I'm gluten-free. I have corn pasta, I do potatoes, which are gluten-free all day, I'm eating fruit. So I come in contact with gluten not very often at all. And I recommend others do that because it just makes you feel better overall and digestion is better. But some people do fine on gluten, so go for it if it works for you, okay. And when you go out, you can ask for gluten-free. There's more and more gluten-free options coming about because people are realizing that it's not optimal to eat it. All right, so next one. I think we've sort of covered, how we've covered them all here. Someone asked about like the cheese on the pizzas uh, that we featured in the video. They were, that was vegan cheese. That was not cow pus, that was not cow secretions, okay? Which contains things like pus, heterocyclic amines, pathogenic bacteria, cholesterol, adrenaline, blood, you know, fear, all these nasty things that you do not want in your body, okay? And that you're not gonna get when you have daya cheese or it's called, yeah, it's just a vegan cheese. And I haven't actually had it before I had it on the pizza. So it was actually, it was, it was nice, but I would prefer it without because I like, I like a low fat feel in my mouth and you know, I like that low fat, just potato, baked potato taste, not the greasiness, okay? And there was a bit of greasiness in it. But if you're transitioning over and you want your cheesy pizza, then go for it. It is perfect option. And that's what I've been thinking. You know, some people are like, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't recommend these foods. You know, they're not healthy and stuff like that. You gotta remember these are healthier options we have the chance to bring a lot of people to veganism by recommending these options because they're just, it's just realistic. A lot of people, if you say to them, you know, you can't have this, you can't have that, you, you know, come over to veganism, but you can't have this, you can't have seaweed, you can't have cheese, blah, blah, blah. They're just gonna go, oh, fuck that. Seriously, I don't wanna do that. That's a waste of time. That's too pure. It's too hard. Just give me what I used to eat because that's simple. You know, because most people are about convenience. We like it easy, don't we? We like things to be easy, so let's make it easy for the majority of the population. So, yeah, I think that's about it for now. It's just a little quickie. And if you like this sort of, this format of video, if you want me to do this occasionally, make sure you give us a thumbs up and make sure you follow me on Instagram. Yeah, I'm on Instagram. Um, currently got about over 100,000 followers, so don't miss out. Come and hang out with me. 
I post some pretty random stuff and just, you know, pictures that you probably won't see anywhere else. Personal pictures and I've got Figsy on there. So it's a lot of fun. So join me. All right. So don't forget to go fruit. Should I do another turn? Maybe I should show you my skirt. Hang on. Whoop. I mean, you can wear it like this. And it's really, it's so sweet. Okay. It's beautiful and it's got sequins on it. Don't forget to go fruit. Oh. Root yourself, and I will see you soon. Go fruit yourself.